The people in the desert said, Why have you brought us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food or, and no water, and we detest this miserable food. Now I have to say, I do sympathize with these, the, the Hebrew people going through the desert. The truth is, is that sometimes life can be downright brutal. Sometimes life can be unbearable. We have days where it's, it's unbearable just to get through the day. So, so I do sympathize with these people. What they're going through is brutal. It's difficult. But at the same time, there's a part of me that would like to say to these people, like, hey, don't you see what God is doing? Don't you remember what he did in Egypt, the signs? And how he parted the waters and rained down manna from heaven and worked all these signs. Like, don't you see what God is doing? And they might respond and say, no, we don't see what God is doing. That's the point. We're in a desert. We don't know where we're going. We don't know where we're, we'll get water and so on. And my response to that is, okay, well then don't you at least see that God is doing something? He's up to something. And this, this is what we call faith. Maybe I don't know exactly what God is doing. Maybe it does seem like there's no hope. I'm just wandering in some desert. But if I have faith, I believe that God, He is doing something. Not only is He doing something, God who made us and who's all-powerful and who loves us infinitely, he's doing something good. Even in the difficult times, God works all things for good for those who love him. That's faith. Now, our forefathers, we kind of learned from their mistakes. We, they didn't have the vantage point that we have. You know, one of my favorite scriptures, this was written after the, the experience of the, of the desert, but one of my favorite scriptures is Sirach chapter 2. My child, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for an ordeal. Oh, I love that scripture. Who here in your life isn't an ordeal a lot of the time? One big ordeal. Scripture says that's what it's like following the Lord. It's going to be an ordeal. And, and, and praise God that we have you know, these scriptures that call us to faith. Also, the lives of the saints. Have you ever read the life of a saint? Oh, the saints, they've, they experience their hardships and ordeals and trials and difficulties and all of that. I mean, my conversion came through the lives of the saints. And that kind of opened my eyes to realize what this life is all about. This life is all about getting ready for heaven, which very much in, involves us being purified, having to go through a desert and being refined like fires refined in gold. And so again, a person of faith sees that God is doing something good, but we're seeing the unseen at a human level, you can't see that God is doing something good, but if you have faith, which by the way, very interesting, they say that the sin that God hates the most, that he dislikes the most, is unbelief. There's one thing the Lord keeps insisting, insisting is we have to believe. Our Lord in the gospel today says, you will die in your sins unless you believe that I am he. And to the, to the woman who was healed, the Lord Jesus said, your faith has saved you. And so it's so important for us in this life to, again, just imagine these people in the desert. Imagine going through these difficult times where they're not sure where the food or the water is going to come from and they're in a desert. Can you imagine them saying, God is doing something good, not afraid? We know our God is a mighty God and a God of miracles. We trust in him. And wasn't that the great message you could say of the last century from St. Faustina and the Divine Mercy for us to simply trust in Jesus? Can you pray that prayer? Can you try to pray that prayer every day? Jesus, I trust in you.